AVC, Laz back again, and welcome back to part three of my Iron Maiden collection series. And this is the bootlegs, uh, the bootlegs and the box sets. So this one is going to be a little long, okay? Um, I want to show some of these bootlegs uh, a little more in depth, um, and there's quite a few of them. So if you're into bootlegs and you're into Maiden, um, kick back, crack a beer, get a cup of coffee, what have you. And, uh, you know, let's uh, enjoy some uh, Maiden vinyl. Anyway, this is, um, you know, I thought about maybe doing this in two parts. Um, but uh, I think I'm going to do it in one just to power through the series and get them up there. Um, hopefully it won't be too long. So this is part three. Uh, stay tuned for part four, which is going to be CDs, DVDs, VHS tapes, things like that. So uh, here we go into the bootlegs. Let's go. All right, so here we go, back down at the cabinet here. Um, this is going to be a long one, guys. So uh, bootlegs and box sets. And actually, you know what? I did forget when I did the factory pressings. Of course, there's the 10-inch of the reincarnation of Benjamin Brig. So there's that. <clears throat> I forgot to show that. Let's set him there. Okay, so uh, I was deciding, do I want to start with bootlegs or box sets? And I think in order to make room, I'm going to go ahead and start with box sets first and get those done and out of the way. So first, the 80 to 88 box set. See all the albums in there. Like I said, this is why I like to get... Uh, multiple copies of the reissue so I don't have to you know if I want to listen to a reissue I don't have to open because I bag my box sets like this um, makes it kind of a pain in the ass to have to open it every time I want to hear one so certain albums I have multiple copies of so that is the 1980 to 1988 box set my lovely wife bought this for me when it first came out and unlike in the UK, the ones we got in the US here, uh, there was no size problem. Um, the size of the box was perfect. So there you go. And then, of course, the big heavy bastard, which is 1990 to 2015. And there's all the albums inside there. All the way up to Book of Souls. No prayer for the dying. You know, I should put this on a scale because I swear this must be, oh God, I don't know, over 20 pounds. But anyway, there's the big one. I'm not going to open this up. You guys know what this stuff is. But there you go. It is complete. Okay. Uh, before I get into the bootleg box set, uh, I went ahead and pulled this stuff out of the other cabinet here. And that is, of course, the Bruce Dickinson Solo Works. Yes, this isn't officially Maiden, but it is, you know. So, awesome box set. Haven't bagged it yet. I've actually been spinning a lot of this stuff. So, the Solo Works box set. Okay, um, the bootlegs. I think I will start with this box and uh, then go from there. So this is actually a newer piece, but this is Burning Amsterdam. Very nice box. In fact, I will open this up and give you a tour. This is five LPs. I remember right. I can get her open. Okay. Very glossy box. Beast on the Road Tour, as well as the World Peace Tour.
in the box, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, you get a poster and you get these cards, one of each band member, etc. So this thing's just chock full of goodies. The 82 to 83 yearbook. Very cool. <clears throat> Love this picture of Steve on the back. So, <clears throat> and like with all my stuff, I use these clear bags, uh, frosted inner sleeves for all my insert stuff like this. They're, they work great for that and keeps them from, you know, sliding and rubbing and creating rub marks and things like that. As well as then here, I put one in between each LP. So I'm not going to pull all five. Uh, the covers are the same on all of them, but you get five of these. I think they're all on white vinyl, or no, clear vinyl. There you go. And so, again, there's five of these in the box here. And so that is the Burning Amsterdam bootleg box set. Beautiful glossy box. Very heavy. Yeah. There you go. Okay, now we're moving on. <clears throat> um, these are some of my favorites. I'm going to try and do them in order, so I'm going to slide them this way here. So, these are some of my favorite bootlegs just because of the packaging. Um, just very unique and, and, and very cool. So, this is. Uh, from Save the Vinyl Records, and this is live at Oxford, 1982. This is leather bound, and this is number 11 out of 25. So there were 25 of these made. It's like a book. It opens like a book, and there's your two LPs, one black, one red. Like I said, it's number 11 out of 25. Next up, <clears throat> this one's on the Sound of Silence records. Again, this is leather, same thing, book style. And this one is uh, Long Beach Arena, uh, 1981. This is number 230 out of 250. Again, opens like a book. There's the LP. And yeah, that's it, just the LP in here. these. I can't remember which ones now have all kinds of goodies on them, too. So these are uh, very special bootlegs. This was, you know, I can only imagine how much these cost to produce. I know how much they cost to purchase. Okay. 
okay, this one, which is on a velvet book, or no, I'm sorry, it's a canvas book. And this is also Sound of Silence, and this is number 246 out of 250. And this is live in Paris, France, October 30th, 1990. you this one. I said this one's canvas. Book style. Two LPs. I think these are what color are these? Yeah, it's like a blue splatter. So Sound of Silence, just the spines. I'm not going to open up all these bootlegs, um, but these I will because these are these are really rare. Um, this one is number. I can't see, uh, number 220 out of 275. This one's on leather, and this is the Rock AM Ring, Germany, June 4th, 2005. Picture Adrian on the cover there. And again, this is also Sound of Silence. On green leather. Again, book style. Sometimes it's easier just to lay the records in here. Blue splatter, 2LP. And yes, this one comes with a poster and a concert ticket. So there you go. up. These next two are bigger. They're almost like box sets. This is Waiting for the Next Attack. Um, Nottingham, 1983. So this is a bigger one. Three LP set. And this one is on True Bootleg Productions, limited edition of 165, and mine is number 88. Number 88. Ah, this one's tight in here. This one is a trifold leather book style. World Peace Tour 83, Royal Concert Hall, Nottingham, May 10th, 83. And there's your three LPs. I believe these are, I remember. Yeah, it's like yellow, kind of piss yellow color. There you go. And then the last one in this series like this, this is also True Bootleg Productions, limited to 170. And this is number 63, and this is X, uh, <laughs> Iron Maiden, 
the X Factor 1996. And again, this is on leather. Again, this is actually, I can't remember if this is a trifold or quad fold. So this opens up. Tokyo, Japan, April 18th, 1996. And yeah, it's a trifold. And it comes with a poster and flyer type of thing. And just like the other one, I love how it says Holy Grail on the labels. So 3LP set, very big piece. There's the spine. So again, this one's limited to 170 pieces. This is number 63. I will bag those later. Okay, so um, let me get into these guys. Let's slide them this way. Okay, so first up on the single boots, uh, this is Live at the Rainbow, December 21st, 1980. This is, what label is this one? Uh, I'm not sure. I can't remember. I think this is black vinyl. And then next up, this is on colored vinyl, and this is Blaze No Brazil. Live in Brazil. I'm not sure. I can't remember. I think this is white vinyl, if I remember right. Yeah, and it's printed in Madrid. So, okay. Next up, this is on uh, Vern, and this is uh, a nice series. These are <clears throat> are were available on, I believe it was Rockadrome that carried these. Uh, this is the Soundhouse Tapes EP and more, early tracks, December 78 to April 1980. Same thing, this is also on Verve, and this is live at Reading Festival 1980. Also on Verve, or Vern, I'm sorry, Vern, not Verve. This is made in Tokyo, 81. And this is a gatefold? No. It's a 2LP, but it's a single, uh, single sleeve. <clears throat> also on Vern, live at Hammersmith Odeon, 1982. And those are the Vern labels. Okay, these, this is uh, Credo, and this is The Assassin. And these are colored vinyl. <clears throat> the Fugitive. This is Cult Legend. This is one of my favorite labels. Um, I like how it says promotional copy not for sale up here. This is Metal for Mantis. This is on red vinyl. Cult Legend recordings down here. Metal for Mantis.
Okay, this is, as you can see here, test pressing. Bootleg test pressing from Cult Legend Records. And this is the Beast Unmasked. This is the test pressing. So, kind of grail status. I mean, you know, bootlegs are rare, number one. To have a test pressing of a bootleg, that's even rarer. So, I'm very happy to have that. This is another test pressing. Same lab label, Cult Legend Recordings. And this is a blackout with Eddie. And these are just black vinyl with the white, you know, plain label, test press label. Here, this is Cult Legend Recordings. This is Take Your Mummy on the Road. This is a gatefold, 2LP, on red vinyl. You could also get this as two separate bootlegs or get it as the one complete set in a gatefold, which is what I have. Same with this one. This is also a cult legend. And this is Return of the Beast. And this one is picture discs. Two picture discs. Two picture discs on this one. And same thing, you could get them as two individual bootlegs or get it as the gatefold set, which is what I have here. I'll go ahead and open this one. the inside. Ed Hunter Tour 1999. An idea of the picture discs. Very nice. Okay, next up, this is on That's All Folks, Play Loud. I love how, once again, it says Demonstration Record, but this is Maiden Mania, Volume 1. And this is on, I believe it's Green Vinyl. Ides of March, Rothschild, Purgatory Sanctuary, Remember Tomorrow, Another Life, Genghis Khan, Killers, Innocent Exile. So, uh, yeah, Maiden Mania, Volume 1. This is Maiden Mania, Volume 2. Murders in the Room War, Twilight Zone, Phantom of the Opera, Iron Maiden, Running Free, Transylvania, Drifter, and the Prowler. Oh, it's number 52 out of 333. Again, like I said, this is, uh, this is on Red Vinyl. This is Burn Tokyo to the Ground. This is a three LP set with a huge book. Big gatefold. Is it three or two LPs? No, I can't remember. Yeah, three. Three LPs on this yellowish clear vinyl. Yes, three. Two on one side, one on the other. And it comes with this really thick book. Let me see how thick this thing is.
all in Japanese. But I keep it, once again, in an inner sleeve. And then I keep it not in with the record because I don't want to warp the vinyl. I keep it behind it in the bag. Again, burn Tokyo to the ground. Christmas 80, special DJ copy. Love the Obi strip. This is um, Metal, yeah, Metal Mania Records. These guys do great work also. Gatefold, OB strip, Christmas 80. Again, Metal Mania. The axe falls on Holland. Again, Gatefold, OB strip. If you guys want to see what tours these are and whatnot, you can just pause the video. Uh, this is the Killer Tour, 1981. Uh, heavy Metal Heroes. These are some of my favorites, without a doubt. Uh, this is I Ran to Brixton. Gatefold, OB Strip. Colored Vinyl. Legacy of the Beast in Sweden. It's funny, right now I actually have coming in the mail one of these in this series, so it's not here in time for the video, but that's all right. I'll show it in an update. 2LP set, Gatefold Obi, Legacy of the Beast in Sweden. Love that cover. Legacy of the Beast in Brazil. Same thing, OB strip, gate fold, 2LP set. This is on gray vinyl. I danced with death in Chile. Same, com uh, same, same label, gray vinyl, gate fold, 2LP. Heavy Metal Heroes. The Final Frontier in Australia on gray vinyl. Same thing. Gatefold. I'm not going to open all these up and show you the gatefolds. It would just take far too long. This is on green vinyl. This is Virtual 11 Japan Tour. On green. Somewhere back in Dubai. And this is, yeah, still Heavy Metal Heroes. You see here they went from the Obi strip to now the Japanese hype sticker. 2LP, blue vinyl, gatefold. That's somewhere in time tour. Heavy metal records. This is on, I believe, white vinyl. OB strip, gatefold. No, non gatefold, but 2LP. Single sleeve. Also, Heavy Metal Records. This is World Peace Tour. Gotta love the Heavy Metal from like the film logo there, or the magazine. 
You guys know I'm a fan of that, but 2LP, color vinyl. One of my favorite boots, or one of my favorite boot covers. This is on colored vinyl. This is The Beast on the Road, 1982, Barcelona. I love this cover. That is just so freaking cool. Comes with this insert. And this is two LPs. And this is, I believe this is clear. Now I gotta see. I think this is clear vinyl. If I remember right. Here's the insert. Here's the whole back. And yes, it's a dark clear though. It's almost like a, a very light, translucent silver or gray. Yeah, you can see through it. But one of my favorite covers, I just, I love that cover. Okay, and again, that is The Beast on the Road in Barcelona in 1982. Great boot. Okay, Newcastle Nightmare, 1980. And this is colored vinyl, and this is uh, two LPs also. Bonus tracks recorded from Top of the Pops London in 1980. Actually, I think this is splatter vinyl, if I remember right. Welcome to the Gal to the Galmont Theater, nineteen eighty four. Live at Galmont Theater in uh, Ipswich, England, September eighteenth, nineteen eighty four. This is number seventy nine out of one hundred. Two LP set on green vinyl. Paris Live 1982. I believe this is on Splatter. And this is number 192 out of 500. 2LP set. The British are coming again. Again, this is a uh, splatter vinyl. This is number 96 out of 500. I think it's splatter, if I remember right. And this is a 3LP set. Non gatefold, just a real thick sleeve. The British are coming again. And here's a big one. This is a um, 3LP set. Legacy of the Beast, Xfinity Center, Mansfield, on gold vinyl. And no, that's not everything. I got a stack over here that I pulled out of the other cabinet, so we're going to keep going. This is back in Portland, 1982. Rip. This is on colored vinyl. This is the Battle of Bristol, 1986. Somewhere in Time Tour. This is on colored vinyl. And this is 2LP. The 
This is number 500 out of 600. This is Behind the Iron Curtain, 1984. This is number 195 out of 200. This is the picture disc. This is a one-sided picture disc. This thing is just cool as hell. This one I will open and show. Comes with, I don't know, that's just a card. See on the back here? one-sided. Very cool picture disc. And this is Demos. Iron Maiden, Invasion, Prowler, and Strange World. Again, it's just called Iron Maiden Album Demo. It's number 195 out of 200. This is number 36 out of 100. This is The Battle of San Bernardino. This is on blue vinyl, 2013. Number 36 out of 100. I love this cover too. This is going to be hard to, I'll have to open this so you can really see it. This is World Peace Tour 83. This is Burning Amsterdam. This is basically a condensed version of that box set that I showed you, the Burning Amsterdam box set. This is like an EP version of that on one LP. And this is on blue vinyl. I guess it shows up okay. You can see it there. This is April 29th, 82, Stuttgart, Germany. Jurgen was probably at this show. What's up, Jurgen? What's up, buddy? And that's on colored vinyl. Kings of Metal, Iron Maiden. That's on colored vinyl. Iron Maiden, Once Upon a Time, recorded live in Japan, 1981, on the Killer Tour. This is uh, the BBC Transcri Transcription Service. From the world's largest library of radio programs, evening drama, yada yada, BBC. This is on Blue Splatter. This is Iron Maiden Peace of Mind, um, the EMI promo. And this is also on Splatter Vinyl. This is Live After Death, the EMI promo, made in England. This is number 204. This is Killer Live, Iron Maiden. This is on a translucent orange vinyl.
And the funny thing about this one, it's a beautiful color. I gotta show this. Right I love this color. There you go. Nice labels. Goes really, really well with the uh, the jacket. Now here's the cool thing about this boot. So I happen to have not one and not two, but three copies of this. And the reason being is my record store happened to have got three copies of this in stock. And when they were doing the transition and everything went to half off, I bought all three copies because maiden boots do nothing but go up in value and rarity and what an opportunity to grab all three for basically the price of one. So next up, this is the newest one. Uh, this is Iron Maiden. Uh, this is uh, Live in Russia, 2LP set. This one's on red vinyl. And then I also have a copy on white vinyl. And then I have Paul Diano Tales from the Beast. And that is the end of the boots. But I will go ahead and continue with the Maiden tie-in stuff to wrap up the vinyl here. This is the Mini Faces of Iron Maiden. This is 2LP set. Iron Maiden covers and rarities. One LP is yellow, one is red. Very cool gatefold. So I have that. This is Axe Attack. This is by KTEL Records, which has Maiden on it. And this is, I believe this is UK or Germany. It's from Dublin, London. Okay, yeah, Western Avenue, London. So this is a UK pressing of Axe Attack, which has Maiden on it. This is a cool promo from Capitol Records. This is the Hard Attack Sampler 84. And this has uh, Maiden, Aces High, Maiden, Two Minutes to Midnight. It's got three tracks from Helix, uh, Helix two tracks from Wasp, and three tracks from Queensryche on this promo, stamped promo. And of course, let's see. Diano, Japanese pressing. Like I said, this is just some Maiden tie-in stuff here. Of course, British Lion. An extra copy of Bruce's Balls to Picasso, which is my favorite Bruce solo record. Of course, this is in the box set, but this is just an extra copy. Bruce, the soundtrack to Scream for Me, Scream for Me Sarajevo. Adrian Smith's first band, Urchin. Two LP set on yellow vinyl. From High Roller. Wolf Spain, the original LP, the first LP. This is a gold stamp promo. 
Blaze's first ban. Wolf Spain, 12 inch single. And then Blaze Bailey, Infinity Entanglement. And I think that is going to wrap up the Iron Maiden vinyl. Well, I still got the seven inches and whatnot, but I'm going to include that with, I think, uh, cassettes and things like that. So anyway, guys, this is a long one. I, this is going to be close to probably almost an hour. But, you know, I thought about breaking it in two, and then I thought, no, just go for broke. So thanks for sticking it out. That's my Iron Maiden bootleg and box set collection. I hope you enjoyed watching, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Peace. Stay in the groove.